LeBron doesn't attempt a, sh a shot of any kind, not a field goal, not a free throw in the final five minutes. Miami gets its last 12 points down the stretch from Wade, Bosch, and Haslam. What is the dynamic at play here? This is the way it should be, and I've said all along, Dwayne Wade should have the ball in his hands at the end of games. It's not necessarily about shooting all the time, but he should be the one making the decision because you have to trust his decision making. We've seen this dynamic play out before. We saw it in L.A. with the Lakers and Shaq was the guy, but in the fourth quarter, Kobe Bryant had the ball in his hands. We saw it in Boston. Kevin Garnett came there. He was the leader of that team, but it was Paul Pierce and Ray Allen taking the shots at the end. I think this is Miami's best chance for success in the postseason. Okay, to have Wade as the closer and have that role defined, but as we saw in the finals, a LeBron James lack of aggression, exactly. okay, for a better term, in and, the fourth quarter. And you saw quarter. what Dwayne Wade was doing here, attacking without forcing. Right, so can this team win a championship with this formula with LeBron James not being aggressive in the fourth? Well, if Dwayne Wade's going to take over those duties, we've seen Wade Wade be a finals MVP and lead the Heat to the only championship in that franchise history. So why not use that same formula? Why not go to the guy who has shown he can get it done in the NBA Finals, and that's Dwayne Wade. It just did not seem to work out for them against the Dallas Mavericks. So playing devil's advocate here, could this team do something more in terms of even scripted plays to get LeBron more involved down well, the stretch? One thing I would like to see, you, you saw LeBron in the corner in some of those highlights. I'd he, like to see them get out the there, ball to right. LeBron in motion. You never see LeBron get the ball in motion because who can keep up with LeBron? He's so big and so fast. So if you get him the ball in motion, it also takes some of the decision-making process out of his hands. He's getting the ball in motion. The defense is moving. Everything is dynamic and flowing instead of having him dribble with the entire defense set and looking at him.